Uh, the worst dinner in the team would probably be my clubmate, Harry Lahern. He, uh, I think in total, the whole year, I think he's, he's trained about 14 times, so uh, he's always something something wrong with him. He's always uh, he's always in the physio beds, uh, getting something knocked out, whether it's his elbow or his hand, his back, his hamstring, it doesn't matter what it is, it's always something with him, so he'd be the worst trainer. Uh, I sure, personally, I sure with Sean. <laughs> uh, so the, the, probably the worst person that I've ever shared with would have been uh, Jonathan Kern, who used to be a goalkeeper uh, for Tyrone. He uh, would have stayed up to three or four o'clock listening to reggae music. Um, you could have got very little sleep with him. Um, he would have been always asking, asking you ridiculous questions at the time, the time of night. Um, and always, uh, but he was always up for a laugh. But he was definitely the worst, worst person to share room with. Uh, Darren McCurry, without a doubt. Uh, Darren McCurry, you think he's just like an energi energizer bunny. He uh, once he sits his sits his bum on the chair, he is at you and he is talking. And when you're trying to watch a film, he's talking and he's talking and he's talking. Uh, He's always talking about his girlfriend. He's all Rhea this, Rhea that. I love Rhea, and that's all I hear the whole way down the road. And uh, you know, he's just relentless. So yeah, Darren McCurry. The biggest joker is probably Ronan McNabb. Ronan McNabb is a, is a great, great, great joker. He's always coming out with these uh, crazy conundrums and jokes that nobody else gets. Uh, he'd be telling a telling a joke and. You know, nobody just no, no, nobody, nobody knows what what it's about and where it's going, and then he just throws the punchline out. It never makes any sense. Um, and he uh, he's a great singer too, so I'll add that in as well. Probably just McMahon. Just McMahon. You know, he's always standing in front of the mayor. He's always uh, always doing his hair and fixing his top and fixing his shorts and making sure everything's prim and proper. And you know. Just thinks, you know, he's going to go out and heat them on, and, and he's going to look the best. So definitely, just McMahon. I'll go with Matty Donnelly. Um, Matty Donnelly's always stuck in uh, stuck in the shop buying bars of chocolate and uh, bread, white bread. Loves white bread. Fantastic, fantastic dad. Matty uh, loves bread of chicken. Just anything that it can be fried or. Uh, you know, it contains a lot of fat and a lot of a lot of bad stuff. He loves it. Like he he he's he, he epitomizes the the, the 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 worst dad on the team. <music> Best dad be Ron O'Neill. Cert <laughs> Ron O'Neill. He counts his calories. He uh, he get brings everything, brings his own lunch boxes to uh, for after training. So it's just filled with chicken and broccoli, nothing else, no sauces. He. Uh, he uh, has always protein bars on the go. He, uh, you know, he really, and you can see him writing in his wee diary how many calories he's taking in that day, how much sugar contents and things. Ronan O'Neill is just, he's just unbelievable. Just loves, loves dad and nutrition. I'll go with Declan McClure. Uh, if you if you notice Declan McClure, any time getting off a team bus or going anywhere, he's carrying a boombox with him, like he's out of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air or something about 20 years ago. Uh, and to be fair, the music he listens to is just noise. There's no, there's no lyrics, there's no nothing. There's just, uh, it's just pure beats and pure noise. So uh, yeah, that can be fair. Big Potty McNulty, uh, probably the best dancer. Did you ever see Neil out of Inbetweeners uh, doing the robot dance? He's just, he's just a natural. He, he flows through it so, so well, and he's pure rhythm. So, pardon me, Mulder. <laughs>